Susan or Avery from Ventura, could you uh, please come up to the booth, please, announcer's booth? Do we have a Lance Kateris up here to the announcer's booth, please? You have a phone call. Lance Kateris up here to the uh, announcer's booth. You have a phone call. race of the day, a very disconsolate, very disconsolate Don Kane walking back to the uh, pits, boy, a very disheartening day, is he still smiling, I can't believe it, I wouldn't, have. oh man, what a tough day this guy's had, here we go, ready to go with the last race of the day, did you ever believe we'd get to this point, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Exploding at you into turn number one. Glenn Smith, the guy on the rear of the pack, is working his way up through the field on the inside as they head up into turn number one. Looking. Oh, a couple of these riders touching handlebars, going around turn number one, but they get through in pretty good shape. Seven, leading 750 riders start overtaking the slower open bikes and here they come uh, around the crest of the hill and down that back straightaway. We want no one, we want no one out on the barrels for this last race, please. No one out on the barrels. Here we go, out of turn number nine. We're gonna pick up the leaders for it as they come down to complete lap number one, one lap down, five laps to go. Can we have the girlfriend of bike number 710, that's Suzanne from Ventura, please report back to her uh, pit, please. Out of 
turn number nine, they come, and uh, it looks like uh, coming down the front straight away again, looks like it's going to be Dave Gibbon on the Yamaha, and it certainly is with uh, Cordillo trailing right on behind him. Both those riders on the big Yamahas. In third spot, it's Ray Adams, and just out of the money, 9.59, that is Ralph Lerua. Lerua. Chuck Graves now leading the 750 class with uh, Tom Lynch now in second spot and Kavnis now running in third. So Chuck Graves taking over the lead in that 750 class. And of course there's Kawasaki money in the line. Is Chuck Graves on a Kawasaki? No, he's on the Suzuki. Tom Lynch running in second spot. He's running on a Suzuki and in third spot is Scott Kavnis. He's also a Suzuki mounted. So no Kawasaki's in the top three in that 750 class. Attention down in the paddock. We have race results up to race number 10. And if you've got a trophy, come on down over to the, uh, uh, to the trophy room down here where registration is. Please pick up your trophy today. Do not come back a month later and say, where's my trophy from last month? It won't be here. It's same day trophies. You don't pick it up today, you don't get it next month. Coming down on that Yamaha, still leading Dave Gibbon and then Steve Cordell in that order as they go by the start finish straight and go into turn number one. Oh, we got a terrific scrap for third spot now. Ray Adams and Loera battling it out for third spot. And of course, this means a lot more to Loera than it does to uh, Adams. Loera going for at least 100 bucks Kawasaki money here if he can put that Kawasaki ahead. Chuck Graves now running in fifth spot. He'll probably catch those two guys. Glenn Smith in second spot. Scott Cabinets running in third. James Martin running fourth in that class. Earl Roloff back in fifth place. Tom Lynch has dropped back off of our charts. Curtis Maddox to tech inspection, please. Curtis Maddox to tech inspection, please. And right after this race, the Black Knight will be coming out, the street bike freestylist. I don't know what he's going to be doing here, but he's going to uh, be jumping off the back, sliding behind the bike at speeds exceeding 80 miles an hour. He's going to be standing on the bike seat, controlling it with a surfboard, or controlling it like a surfboard. My God, if you put a surfboard on that thing. Drive backwards with no hands. He's going to race around the track using his feet to guide his motorcycle. It would have been a nice show to put on at lunchtime, but toward the end of the day here, nobody's going to be able to see him. 95 now has taken over that position from his cabinet. Cabinet keeps dropping back as Jim Martin now, James Martin, has taken over that position from Cabinet. on the Yamaha, stretching out to about a three-second lead over Cordillo. And this thing's going to be pretty well set.
Chuck Graves coming by. He's going to, uh, looks like he's on his way to win in the 750 class. Boy, I'll tell you, Glenn Smith and uh, Jim Martin and Scott Cavanaugh are not done dueling yet as they uh, duel back into the sun here. Going around turn number one, that sun blinding them as they head around turn number one and head into turn number two. The last lap, and boy, they're not giving up. Look at this, Glenn Smith now has dropped back to third. Looked like Cavanaugh or Martin might have taken over that position again as those three riders battle it out for the position here on the last lap. Chuck Graves is going to take that 750 uh, class of boy as battle for second way up in the air right now. Here comes the winner. Big win for Dave Gibbons as he comes down and takes the uh, checkered flag. He is the winner. Coming down to get second spot, Steve Cordillo, bike number eight. He's going to get second. And back a little bit is coming down to get third. And that's going to be third spot and the winning the 750 class, Graves. Fourth is going to be uh, Loera, and he's going to take third and pick up 100 bucks from Kawasaki in that open class. we may have some uh, protest going with Luera. He was black flagged during that race and did not come in. So uh, Kawasaki may be uh, not giving out any money at all in that one. So it looks like it's going to go to bike number 895, but uh, th those riders are not on Kawasaki, so Kawasaki won't be paying out any money in this one. Graves was the winner in the uh, 750 class. Looks like it, it might have been Glenn Smith. Evidently, uh, he ignored the, ignored the black flag by number 959, and they docked him a lap. So Luera has been docked a lap.